to another episode of Glorious Glow Empowerment Podcast. It is Mental Health Awareness Week and I have been reading extracts from my book since um, the week began. Thank you for joining me. I developed interest in mental health when I went back to university to study Masters in Psychology. My interest grew from there as I began to understand mental illness better. I've conducted my a bit of research and as a result was prompted to write a book on it to educate people and let them know that there's nothing to be worried about, especially in African countries. Thank God in the Western world, the introduction of Equality Act has changed that narrative Anyone with mental health can live normally in the community with everyone else. It would be nice if that can happen in African countries as well, instead of leaving them and until they become worse and end up on the streets. It is time to make a change. Today, I'll be reading a section of my book titled Types of Mental Illness. There are different types of mental illnesses. One, depression, there's eating disorders, psychosis, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and a whole lot more. Obsessive compulsive disorders, anxiety disorder, there's so much out there. There are illnesses that show symptoms which can have an impact on the way a person thinks, behaves, perceives things, or even alters his or her mood. Each of these illnesses have unique symptoms that are specific to them. A person experiencing mental illness can sometimes find it difficult to manage relationships or even cope with work and other activities or responsibilities. Their ability to work well, hold any job at all, or or function in a family or group environment may severely be impaired. However, that does not mean that someone suffering from a mental illness should be avoided or neglected. Rather, the symptoms they present with needs to be understood. They should be loved and cared for. This is where family matters friends as well. Every practical step should be taken to reintegrate them as much as possible into society, not least because of the pressure they place on others if untreated. In African communities, African politicians may argue that there are no resources to cover the cost of mental health provisions. They fail to grasp that doing nothing has direct economic cost as well. So, what are some of the common mental health issues or illnesses and their symptoms? We will be looking at that in another episode. But for now, thank you for listening. And I do hope as you listen to my podcast, you will change your view about how to treat and help anyone with a mental illness how to help them how to make sure you are there for them how to be a listening ear they need to be listened to they need to be loved and not judged thank you once again take care god bless bye it is a five of reading extracts from my book Thank you to everyone who has stayed with me so far and listened while I read my book. I appreciate you. The aim of this book is to show how education, empathy, compassion, and positive faith can combine with therapeutic interventions by professionals to alleviate many forms of mental illnesses. Okay, over the years, people have learned about mental illness and the various treatments available and have concluded that in many cases therapy can be effective. 
However, the narrative and tone in some African countries is still negative and maybe even getting worse. I've seen cases where parents with children suffering from mental illness are too ashamed to let other people know, even family. They rather hide the child. It is time to change that narrative. Anyone with a mental illness can be treated. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I do hope you learn one thing or the other from following my podcast and please share the word. Let people know about this. Mental illness can be treated. A child can be helped. Anyone can be helped. Thanks for listening once again. Take care and God bless you. Bye.